my lifestyle uh, channel welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle how uh, hi uh, how is everybody doing um, I'm good thank you and um, the weather is uh, beautiful outside uh, today it's about 17 18 degrees so that's really good and um, it's brightened up nice blue skies and um, in the Midlands um, in the UK so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it's the red and white subscription button also click the notification bell, uh, bell so you never miss our upload I upload five uh, times a week also click the join button um, and you can join my memberships for just 99 pence per month for extra perks and um, the link is down below so and um today i'm going to be doing travel news at europe five exciting facts july 2001 part one so i'm going to fire away with the eu's vaccine passport and what it means for travel the eu vaccine passport is a digital covid certificate is being uh, rallied across all 27 um member nations it's um a way for citizens to cross um the EU without having to be um, or without having to prove that they've um, been vaccinated against COVID-19 recently has have a negative PCR test for their virus recently uh, recovered from COVID-19 it's available in and recognised by all 27 EU member states plus Switzerland, Iceland, Norway and Liechtenstein it's free and um, all EU citizens uh, as uh, well as uh, non-EU uh, nations legally uh, staying or living in the mem member state that states with the right to travel uh, to other member states uh, can be downloaded and it is obtained uh, a paper copy as well it is um, hoped the certificate will make it even easier for people to travel around the EU you will uh, need to carry a passport and another or another form of identification any um, holder certificate should be in principle uh, be exempt from testing or quarantine when crossing an international border so and um, if you hold the certificate then you'll be exempt from testing um, and uh, quarantine which is really good news to EU citizens uh, that's um, again uh, what the BBC news says also the BBC um, says for number two and um, it's uh, the same as the is it the same as the NHS Covid pass it is not the same uh, but uh, both show the same information to and um, aim to make it it's simple for uh, someone to show their COVID status. The NHS uh, COVID pass can uh, be assessed for, uh, via the existing NHS app. Uh, the paper version can be uh, requested um, by calling 9 or 111. Nine uh, for people aged 16 or over in England. It shows proof of vaccination, negative PCR test, recovery from uh, COVID 19. Paper versions are available um, in Scotland, Wales, and at uh, mid July, uh, it will be available in Northern Ireland, which is really good news. Um, will the EU use the NHS? Uh, co covid uh, pass not yet but some individual countries such as greece and spain are already accepting it 
um, which is uh, really good news. Um, it said, um, the time says uh, ministers plan quarantine free travel for um, the double vaccinated ministers are aiming to introduce quarantine free travel for double vaccinated holiday makers by July the 26th, which is also really good news. Number four, the Telegraph, the travel uh, news latest, double jabs will uh, be um, a liberator for foreign holidays, suggests the Prime Minister. Fully vaccinated people may be able to travel quarantine free from amber list countries by the 26th of July 2021. Um, again, it's only maybe, nothing's definite. And um, last but not least, um, even standards. Um, chaos as Malta refuses to accept the NHS app as proof of a vaccination status. Tories planning on using the NHS app um, have faced a cross, a fresh um, setback um, as people are being rushed um, of being a, or well, people are basically um, at risk of being turned away at a, a UK airport or a border in Malta, even if they are fully vaccinated. So it is, again, like I say, a caution um, if you're looking at, to travel abro uh, abroad and um, outside the UK and um, again because um, some countries may not recognise the NHS app and again obviously uh, the Prime Minister um, can uh, basically say that um, that we're not allowed, that you would have to quarantine at any time on arrival, even if it is a green list country, that could still change, and they could go on to amber list or red. So I hope everybody's um, having a nice day, um, as good as possible, and I would like to say uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you for another video at six thirty tomorrow, which is my updates, uh, improvements and more and i would like to say thank you and i hope everybody's okay and bye for now thank you bye